I have some nerve damage. I have some major anxiety, but I still have my hand. This woman calls herself a carver by trade, but she might not now have a trade to go back to. Sarah Bornhorst carved wood and cake for a career until a little over a month ago. That's when a work time accident took that all away, and now she leaves her at a loss for what's ahead for her future. Kevin Rayner now reports. Going back into work is hard for Sarah Bornhorst. The therapist told her she needed to go back into the meat department where she worked. My therapist wants me to get pictures of the meat room for therapy because I was diagnosed with PTSD just today. It just rammed my hand right into the machine. It all stems from an accident she suffered almost a month ago when working with a meat crew. I'm putting it through like normal and I hear a click click in the suit. I mean, by the time I looked, it had caught the tip of the Rubbermaid glove and I'm like, oh, and I went to pull it out and it created a suction and it just plunged in and I'm like, oh, and those machines, the kill switch didn't kill. So now the woman who used her hands to make cakes, artwork, and wood carving. In fact, her work with a chainsaw helped her lose over 100 pounds over a 10-year period. I have some nerve damage. I have some major anxiety, but I still have my hand. Safeway has been in touch with Sarah since the accident, but she hasn't heard a thing from her union. She's been in touch, however, with an attorney. In this case, the only other claim would be against the uh, manufacturer of the, uh, the defective equipment. In the long run, you want products that are safe, that um, incorporate the, what technology allows them to incorporate, like automatic shutoff or things that prevent this sort of thing from happening. I think it's going to take me a long, long time, but maybe after a few years, I'll be good with my left hand. So for now, for Sarah, it's all about getting on with life. And today, that stop back here at the store was a first step in that direction. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Alligus News.